It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ogono Ops family. Today, I, this video is going to be about how to maintain the creative flow state whenever you're diving into anything creative such as writing or anything that wants to like trigger ideas for it to go forth. And so I recently came across an idea that has worked for me that may work for you guys as well. And so the idea comprises, the, the, the idea is about uh, the creative state. So as we are, you know, as we're writing or, or doing or, or drawing or, or doing anything that call, that needs, you know, you know, fresh ideas or cool ideas to continue on the, the, the project, uh, usually when it, when it comes to that, and, and mostly, mostly I use this, this method for, for my writing. And so usually when it comes to, you know, to, to get fresh ideas, to maintain that flow state so that it never runs out of juice, like the next day you wake up to, to get back into your work, is that as I'm diving into the creative flow, as I'm, as I'm writing or typing, typing out, out a chapter, I usually, you know, I, I usually type out the chapter in, 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 in an hour or so, and then I, I wait you know, I stop the, I stop the muse, I stop the creative flow, and I make sure I know what I'm going to do in the next day. I make sure I know where I left off, where I should continue on with that chapter. So let's say, for example, I'm writing a story about a boy and a, and a dog. Okay, so let's say Tom. Okay, Tom's dog went missing. All right. So as I'm typing it, okay, Tom's dog went missing, and now Tom is searching for his missing dog then that's usually where i would stop and then the next day i'd continue on that and then uh i'll i'd continue on the story of tom looking for his dog as he goes towards his dog you know as he meets his dog again his missing dog you know and then the next day i'll do the same thing like ending in like ending in cliffhangers so that i can continue on tomorrow or the next day and of course you want to you it won't be that short the story won't be that short you you'll want to you know continue uh you know writing or so but well, the main idea is when when you have that muse when you have that muse going on you know i feel that it's best to not you know over exert the muse so that you run out of ideas you know just just type it and then after that you uh you wait for the next day and then you do something else because when you wait to the next day you have an anchor point of where to start from so that you can continue on and you keep on entering this flow of fresh ideas coming on because you know day after day you have this anchor point set of what what you expect to, to type next for the next day so you know and i'll have a video down in the, the description below to of, a, of another channel that explained it more you know thoroughly and you know so that you can get a, a different you know perspective a, a, new, a different perspective on it besides my own and so that video will be linked in the description down below and so that will be the video thank you guys for watching uh and uh we'll tell me what you think about this video and peace